Let's talk about understanding plate results in visual analysis. In this example, I've drawn an area and have meshed it with plates, and I've set the boundary on the left edge to be fixed. And then for loads, for the dead load case, I'm actually stretching the place, plate with an edge load here on the right edge of, of 200 kips. And for the live load case, I've actually apply the load to the plate or pressure load across the area to bend the plate out of plane. So, so I'm going to look at the two basic kinds of behaviors that plates model, and that is the stretching or in-plane membrane force behavior and the bending or flexural type behavior. So let's now look at the results of this analysis. We start with the dead case, which is we're stretching the plate, and when we look at plate results, we want to go to the results filter and look at what result type is shown. Now, when we drop down this dialog here, we'll see that we have an incredible number of things that we can display. And the order here is kind of important in that the first things we're showing are local quantities and the things we're showing following that are global quantities. So what, what's that mean? What's the difference between local and global? Well, each plate element, if we go back to the model view, has a local coordinate system. And if we look at all these triangles that, are, that have been meshed, the local coordinate system is extremely varied in that it's pointing in all kinds of directions. So for a meshed problem like this, the local results are very difficult to get something out of. And in fact, if we switch the results, to say one of the local values. Let's look at say the local sigma x values. You see basically a mess because the local axes are changing and we're not able to get uh, really anything meaningful out of that. So rather than at looking at local x, let's look at sigma global x. And when we do that, we see things are much cleaner and we're not seeing the variations with the exception of a few edge and boundary effects. So now, let's talk more about plate results. Here's the information in the help file that I encourage you to go to when you have problems with plate results. Plate results, as we're trying to show here, are in a local coordinate system, and the local coordinate system is shown on the plates. And we really two, have two broad types of results. We have the bending results, which include bending moments along the edges of the plate, and shear forces along the edge of the plate perpendicular to the plate. And then we have in-plane forces for the membrane effects or in-plane stresses, sigma x and sigma y. So big picture, bending results in moments and shears. Membrane effects result in in-plane stresses. In addition, when we combine the two, let's say we're both going to stretch and bend the plate, then our in-plane stresses will have a variation where they're, they'll have a mid-plane value and a top and bottom surface value depending on the moment in the plate. So that summarizes then the kind of stresses and results we can expect. So now let's go back and look at our model a little closer. If we look at the dead load case, which remember we were stretching the plate, we're seeing a sigma x value that varies and Average values in the middle are somewhere around 1,454 pounds per square inch. If we switch to the live load case, where we're simply bending it, and look at our sigma x values, notice they're almost zero, and that makes sense. We're bending, we're not stretching. So when we look at the live load case now, more important, we probably want to look at moments. So let's look at like the mx moment. And now we're seeing an MX moment that's varying considerably from the fixed edge out to the free edge. And that's kind of what we'd expect for a cantilever type bending. Now comment about the, the sign MX versus MY. If we go back now and look at the results again in the help file, take a look at the way MX is defined. MX is defined really, a, it's a moment about the Y axis. And MY here is really a moment about the x-axis. Now, what's that about? Well, standard plate theory 
has always set up moment sign convention as to the stress it's producing. So if we look at MX, we're, we're bending it about the y-axis, but we're really producing stresses in the x direction. So the x really means moment causing stresses in the x direction, not about the x-axis. So that's important to point out. It's often a source of confusion when we're looking at plate results. So MX, fairly large. Let's switch to MY. And we look at that, we're seeing MY that's considerably lower than the MX value, which makes sense. But that's really um, something you need to think about for plate behavior. Why would I get a, a stress in the Y direction if I'm really bending this as a cantilever? Well, the reason is, is if we look into plate theory, the two-way behavior will result in bending in the opposite direction. One final thing let's look at for plate results, and it's a feature that you can use to get a diagram. If I drag my mouse from one side to the other and let up, I'll get a plot of how what we're showing, which is MY, and how it varies across the line I drew. So it's a quick way to get a plot type display.